So what we're going to do now is we're going to start coding an assembly language, but we're going to do it one instruction at a time so that we can understand what each of the instructions do. So to get started, we need to click on the edit button here. And we're going to introduce you to the first first uh, command, so a data transfer command. So it's going to be move um, r1, comma, hashtag 3. So what that's going to do, it's going to move the value 3 into register r1. This is going to be a very straightforward program, so it's only going to have two, two, uh, two instructions. It's going to be the first one is going to be move and the other one is going to be halt, so that tells the program to stop. When we've written our program, we click on the submit button. What happens at that point is our program has been assembled, so it's been converted from our assembly language instructions into machine code instructions and they've been stored in those those uh, first memory locations. So you can see there that in each memory location we have a machine code instruction and you can see that we have two memory locations occupied corresponding to the two instructions that we have in our program. When that's been assembled what we can do then is we can run our program. Now, the best way to do this is to use the, this arrow here, this step, because this does each command at a time, each instruction at a time. So, so it's quite useful to do that so you can see what's happening. So we're going we're gonna to run our program step by step. So click on here. And you'll notice that the number three now has been moved to register three. And then if I continue with that, the program then will Halt. I can also use the move command to copy values between registers. So let's have a look at that. So I'm going to edit the code again and I'm going to add another instruction in here. So it's going to be move and then we're going to do uh, R2 and then R3. So what this is saying is we're going to move the value R th in R3 into R2. So let's submit that code. So now you'll notice you've got three instructions, three, three memory locations in memory now, now occupied. And we'll run that through, again, using the stepping button here. And we'll go through, so it does that. So you can see the value now in R3 is 3. And now you can see the value in R2 is also 3. And then program halts. So we've seen how we can directly put values into registers and how we can copy values between registers but we also need to be able to get values from memory as well so there's another command that we use it's called uh, load or or the way the way we always referenced is LDR so LDR so what we're doing is we're loading a value so in this case now we're going to load it into register 0 so we're going to load a value from memory location, so we're going to do it, so we, remember we go up in blocks of four, so we're going to go from memory location, let's do uh, memory location um, 16. So memory location 16 on here is, well, if that's zero, that's four, eight, 12, 16, so it'll be, it'll be this one on here on the second line. And if I now submit that code, and if we now put a value in there, so we're going to put the value in there, we're going to put the value, I don't know, let's just say uh, 13. Okay, so we put the value in and we are ready to go. So let's just click through this and see what happens. So again, the first two instructions are as, as before. And now notice now the value 13 has now been moved into register 0 or loaded into register 0. As well as being able to load values in from memory, we're also able to store values in memory. So let's just have a look at how that works. So for this, what we do is we is we use the str command, str here, and we're going to store the value that's in register 0, and we're going to store that in memory location 20. So let's submit that. And let's have we actually have a problem because you can see that when we're loading a value now from memory location 16 because we've got an extra instruction we actually got a, got an instruction in that in that memory location so we can't actually manipulate that so actually we're going to have to change some of these 
memory locations. So let's just just have a look at how we're going to do that. So let's just go up to let's do um, 20 now and 24. So if we submit that code again, and if we put a value into memory location 20, so just so we have something to read in that's not zero. So let's do um, 14 this time, and uh, let's step this through. So the obviously we know the first what the first two the first three really are doing. So what we've done now is we've taken the value at memory location 20, which is 14, and, and loaded that into R0. So you can see, we'll see that that's happened there. And then what we're going to do now is store that value in memory location 24. So you can see now that's been stored in that memory location.